Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to DreamWorks Switch to Life. And in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the fourth of the How to Train Your Dragon short films. That, of course, being Dragons, Dawn of the Dragon Racers. And I really enjoyed this short film, but unfortunately, there are some bad things that we have to talk about. Unlike the other short films in this franchise, this isn't actually made with a high budget. This doesn't take the animation quality that we know and love from the movies. It's made by the same people who made the How to Train Your Dragon TV shows, namely Dragon's Defenders of Burke and Dragon's Race to the Edge. This was kind of an in-between quill to those, not only because it came out in between them, but also because it kind of serves as a pilot to Dragon's Race to the Edge. So the story is that the Dragon Riders have grown up a little bit, just before they take place in Dragon's Race to the Edge, and they reminisce about who started the sport in dragon racing, which was really a famous thing that was present in the second How to Train Your Dragon movie. So this short film explains the origin by having the dragon riders go into the past and discussing what exactly is the origin. So of course, both the modern day and flashback sequences take place in between Dragon's Defenders of Burke and Dragon's Race to the Edge, so there's really no need to adjust for the timeline. What you do need to know, however, is that this was kind of a pilot to see how the modern day Dragon Riders would be like for the animation team as they made Dragon's Race to the Edge. So, due to the fact that this was made with a TV show budget, this happens to have some really good quality voice acting, I gotta say. They of course have the voice actors for Hiccup, Astrid, Fishlegs, and Toughnut. And while Roughnut and Snotlau are different from their movie actors, they picked some really good ones. So yeah, I got to admit that out of all the How to Train Your Dragon short films, this might actually have some of the best voice acting, but it definitely has the worst animation. Granted, that's only because it's the only short film that was made with a TV show budget, not the high movie budget that we know and love. Still, this short film is really enjoyable, especially when you dive into the story, so let's do that. Basically, being a special exclusive episode for the How to Train Your Dragon TV show, the short film actually stars Snotlout trying to work out a sheep launching catapult for the dragon races, which we actually do see in How to Train Your Dragon 2, and that's really awesome to know that Snotlout invented the weapon. But then, of course, Snotlout says that he invented dragon racing, and then they're like, uh, no you didn't, and they go back in time to discuss how exactly dragon racing was invented. So shortly after Defenders of Burke, you know, like six months after the first How to Train Your Dragon movie, they discover that a bunch of sheep have broken out of their paddock when uh, Silent Sven found his voice and became not so Silent Sven. Apparently the herd took a vote and they aren't too thrilled with the sound of his new voice. <laughs> So, Hiccup enlists the help of the Dragon Riders to help track down the missing sheep, and unfortunately, like they always do, the Dragon Riders turn it into a competition to see who can catch the most sheep. And then, of course, um, Vikings are thrilled by watching this, and Stoic is actually busy because he's trying to get ready for a regatta race. He ends up discovering a new kind of wood, and he sails off to go and get that wood so that they can make a ship out of it, which they can then enter and win in the regatta race. Unfortunately, this means that Hiccup is declared as acting chief, and now he is in charge of setting up the actual regatta, which includes putting up banners and getting Viking psyched for watching boats sail slowly across the harbor. But of course, the Vikings don't actually want that. They are so excited by the dragons catching all of the sheep that they announced that they would rather have a dragon race. And of course, uh, Toughnut figures out a point system where they 
basically count sheep as points. If two riders get to one sheep at the same time, you can tear it in half. Half a sheep equals half a point. All except for the black sheep, who apparently is worth five points. Anyway, so most of the dragon riders are actually psyched for the dragon race, including Hiccup, who's not supposed to be, but the one person who isn't psyched is Fishlegs, as he's actually off preparing him and Meatlug for the regatta, and they're building a boat. So, the Dragon Riders split off into teams, Team Snot Nuts and Team Hickstrid. So they pull off a bunch of antics that results in the teams being tied, which leads to the Black Sheep becoming the tiebreaker, and unfortunately, Snotlout and Astrid are both racing towards the Black Sheep at the same time, and during a collision, Astrid's arm gets broken, which means Team Hickstrid will have to forfeit, and, of course, that means that the game is over and there's no clear winner. And, of course, the Vikings are upset about this and they want another dragon race. But, of course, Hiccup can't do it without another team member. So he goes to Fishlegs, who is still on board the regatta train, having just finished his ship. And he tests it out. Unfortunately, he discovers that Meatlug is seasick and the ship is destroyed, so Fishlegs decides to participate in the second dragon race. And then that's when Stoic the Vash shows up and discovers that there isn't a single regatta banner set up and that the Vikings have been wasting their time with these dragon races. But of course, the whole point of the regatta was to help Vikings blow off steam and the dragon races seem to be doing a good job. So he supports Hiccup in this, but he even takes it a step further by introducing face paint. Anyway, because Astrid actually can't participate in the games due to her broken arm, Stoic decides to make her the referee so that there's no funny business. Why does he always look directly at us when he says that? Anyway, Team Snotnuts and Team Hicklegs end up pulling off another antics where they catch a bunch of sheep, resulting in a tie, so the black sheep becomes the tiebreaker once again, and this time the twins actually manage to catch the black sheep until Fishlegs shows up with the black sheep. Uh-oh. Yeah, it turns out that the twins ended up just grabbing a random sheep from another pen and painted it black, but the black sheep was actually down in the well where Fishlegs found it, which makes Team Hicklegs the winner of the dragon race. And of course, they return back to the present day where Snotlout is sad because he didn't actually invent dragon racing, it was Tough Nut. But then Hiccup tries to make him feel better that he's the one who cheated, but then Tough Nut it points out the fact that Snotlout had nothing to do with the cheating. He had no idea that there was even a secret plan. And then there's the call for the next dragon race to begin, at which point all of the dragon riders fly off, hoping that they'll be the one to be the victor, especially now that Snotlout has his new sheep catapult. And that's when the short film ends. So honestly, I really enjoyed this short film. Granted, it feels just like another episode of the How to Train Your Dragon TV show, not a short film, but it was honestly really fun to watch, especially because of the jokes and humor, and honestly, this was just amazing. I loved it. But what did you guys think of the short film? Make sure to leave your thoughts down below in the comments, and if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe so you can keep up to date on all things DreamWorks, including when I post my review for Dragon's Race to the Edge. But until then, I hope that you are staying safe out there and I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye. That sheep is a maniac. That sheep is invincible. That sheep is insane.